This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 90 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle moments, healing and blessing festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com Our email godslove at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. Irene. Pastor, three days ago, she suffered a motorbike accident. Oh. Pastor, this hand was in a cast. You can see. When you said do something in faith, Pastor, she removed the cast. The pain is completely gone. My Lord, can child. You can you move your hand, my daughter? My loving daughter. Can you move your hand? Can you drop it down? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my child. Yes. Bless you, daughter. Bless you. Six months, he had this growth on his eye. And today, as you ministered, in faith, he believed, he touched it, and the growth just disappeared. My Lord, it is gone, son. It's gone. My loving child, all the growth in the eyes have gone. Lift your hands to Jesus. 2011 onwards, Pastor, he had a growth on, uh, on his right wrist. The Lord touched him, and the growth has left him. No, there's no pain anymore. As no well. pain, no growth, nothing, son. The growth has gone, the pain has gone. Lift your hands, my son. Lift your hands, my dear one, and say thank you to Jesus. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Jesus is healing you. Jesus is healing you. This is Emmanuel, whose name was called ah. out to the word of knowledge. For uh -huh. six months, he's been constantly coughing. Uh -huh. As you called out his name, the Lord has healed him completely. My God, all that cough stuff. Completely stop. He's Emmanuel. God with him forever. Bless you, son. You and your household. In your home. In your family. In every area of your life. Anusha. Receive your miracle. Jesus is here today. Pastor, yes, daughter. This is Anusha. Ah. Pastor, by the word of knowledge, you called out her name and yes. said that the Lord is delivering her. Yes. Pastor, she said she was suffering with severe pain on the right hand side of her chest. That pain is completely my gone, Lord, Pastor. And Lord. the Lord has delivered her from all her anxieties. Ah. All the pain is gone, child. You can move it up and down for me, down, my daughter. And all the fear, everything is gone. Anxiety is gone. You can smile now, child. Ah, lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this mother's name is Anita. For one week, she's been having severe chest pain, but Jesus healed her today, this morning. All the pain is gone, mother. Completely gone. You can move your head like... All the pain is gone, child. Completely gone. Who healed his blessed mother? Who healed his blessed mother? Lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Pastor, this little girl's name is Nicole. She was having a defect in her mouth and in her gums, Pastor. The flesh had covered her teeth. 
and there was a lot of pain and bleeding. Pastor, last Friday, you called out the sickness through the word of knowledge and her mother noticed through the week the flesh was receding and her teeth is now okay. There's no pain bleeding, completely healed, Pastor. Look at the testimony. Look at this testimony. Blessed be the name of Jesus who healed her, who healed her, who healed her. It's all Jesus. Your mouth will bring glory to Jesus. Come, daughter, come. Pastor, this is Victoria. She's attended the service today for the first time. My and God. for over a year, Pastor, she's been suffering with severe pain on the right-hand side of her arm. Couldn't lift it. But today, You couldn't lift your hand like that. Come you couldn't lift your hand like that. Now you can do it. You can move it down, my daughter. You couldn't do it before. You couldn't do it before. And you are doing it now. And first time you came into this church. You came from England. Blessed are you. Who healed this loving daughter, Victoria? Who healed this loving daughter? It's all Jesus. Everyone say Jesus. Pastor, for seven long years, she's been suffering with severe pain and swelling in her wrists. Pastor, she said as you prayed, she felt a warmth pass through her hand. And now all that pain and swelling is completely gone, Pastor. Swelling has completely. gone, my child. And the pain has gone, my daughter. Swelling has gone. You, my daughter, you felt a warmth, the heat or something. And the pain has gone and the swelling has gone. Look, that's the way you must exhibit your testimony. Jesus is Lord. Lift your hands to him. Pastor, this is Stephen. For ah. seven long years, Come he sir. had pain in his throat. When he swallows saliva, he will feel the pain. When he drinks water, he will feel that pain. And even this evening, he came here with some fear in him. And ah. Jesus healed him completely. He tested by swallowing saliva and saliva and water. She's totally set free. Nothing. No pain, sir. No pain at all. You honored Jesus. I'm going to give you my orange. Now drink this orange, my loving son. See whether there is any. You won't have any pain. I'll, I'll put a nice one. I tell you. I tell you. It's gone. This is also gone. Hallelujah. All the pain is gone. Oh, who healed him? Who healed him? Who healed him? Who healed him? It's all Jesus. Bless you. Pastor, this is Josephine. Pastor, she told me she was having severe excruciating pain on the left-hand side of her abdomen. And now all that pain is completely, completely gone. Completely gone, sir. You had a severe pain when you came. Now it's gone, my daughter. You can swing your body and show me. You can bend down and show me, child. You can let the defeated devil know that you are healed completely. All the pain is gone, child. Who healed this dear girl? Come, child. Come close. Who healed this dear girl? Three days pain on his right knee. He came in the come church son. sort of leaping, but now Jesus has healed him completely. Son, you can stamp your feet, you can jump and show me, son. All the pain is gone, completely gone, son. Hallelujah. Look at that sweet smile. Who healed this beloved one? Who healed this beloved one? Who healed him? Lift your hands to Jesus. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Great. The one who loves you, the one who loves you, great thou art. You will live, we will live until rapture, eternal in our Father's mansions. There shall be no more sick among you and me, no sin. We shall be in the will of God, our bodies sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Our minds like the mind of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How great thou art. He loves you, church. He loves you. Second Corinthians 5, verse 21. John 1, verse 29. The sinless Lamb of God, Jesus of Nazareth who came to take my sin and your sin. Now he was hanging on the cross, condemned by the cruel betrayers. Oh, my beloved. And there, I'm on his right-hand side, one fellow is on the left-hand side was mocking him. People were mocking him. Soldiers were scorning him, mocking him, spitting at him. Oh, blaspheming him. Oh, what ridicule. My loving child. He never opened his mouth. Isaiah 53, verse 7. 1 Peter 2, verse 23. Looking unto Jesus, the author 
and the completion of our faith. Hebrews 12 verse 2. You and I must become like Jesus. This is the purpose of your life and my life. It's better than any theology, better than any books written on this subject. The purpose of God in your life and my life, whether you like me or not, is for you and I to become like Jesus, to follow Jesus. The will of God in your life and my life, whether you want this message or not, is for you and I to thank him all the time. Lift your hands to him. That is the will of God. There could be chronicles written, what is the will of God in my life? There could be theories and theologies written, what is the will of God? How to find the will of God? They write exciting books. God bless every one of those dear ones. They mean well. But here is the answer for you and me. The Bible, from everything is from the Bible. My loving child, lift your hands to the Bible, the word of God. Oh, beloved, my beloved, dear ones, here, this man on the right-hand side said, Lord, when you come in your kingdom, remember me. It was a very critical moment. He's also a sinner. He's a, that thief, that thief was a murderer, a sinner. We don't know what he has done. And by his side hangs the sinless Lamb of God, Holy Son of God. And few moments only, few minutes, the way they have beaten him and battered him, butchered him and betrayed him, he was going to go to his father soon. This thief didn't know what was happening. He was also virtually dying, crucified on the cross. It was a very critical moment. He can't afford to miss that. That is his eternity, not his destiny. I don't preach destiny. I don't believe in destiny. I preach eternity. Jesus came to give us eternity in Christ, in heaven, in our Father's mansions. Oh, beloved, this may be surprising to many of you, but thanks be to God, this is the truth in Jesus' name. My dear ones, now his eternity is being decided. If he misses those few seconds, he will lose his eternity and will live in hell. Will live in hell, eternal damnation. Jesus said, he who doesn't believe in me will be damned, Jesus said. He didn't say, he who doesn't believe in me, I will look into his case later. No. My loving child, Mark 16, if you read from 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, read that carefully. Oh, beloved ones, he loves you. He's here today, Jesus. It is Christ who gives you and me life. Don't miss any moment. Maybe you have not received Jesus as your savior. You have not been born again today, today, today. This moment is your beginning of your eternity in heaven. My loving child. He didn't want to miss that moment. Don't miss the miracle moments with Christ Jesus, you and me. He loves you. He loves you, loves you, loves you. My beloved, without him I am nothing. And so are we, beloved. He said, Master, Lord, he said, Lord, remember me when you come in your kingdom. I will preach on that later. He didn't miss that moment. My loving child, Jesus is here for you and me. Don't postpone your moment of decision. Don't postpone your moment of acceptance of Jesus in your life. This is the beginning of your eternity in heaven with Jesus. He loves you. There was a mother whose daughter was tormented by the defeated devil, crushed by the defeated devil. Beloved ones, the mother was lying, running to and fro on the road. Who will save my child? Who will give life to my child? Who will raise my child from this torment and oppression in her life? My dear one, my blessed one. In England when we were there, a girl for seven years, for seven years was tormented by the defeated devil. Seven years. In that quiet healing rally, 
Jesus came by her side and said, you are free from now. He is the same unchanging Jesus. She came and testified on the stage with so much of peace and joy and life. It can take only one millisecond for God. What the defeated devil has done in your life or my life, it can take even one second or less than that for God. If you let him do it, your purpose is to become like Jesus. My beloved, and my purpose is to become like Jesus. Oh, he loves you, 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 my child. He loves you. And the mother, cared. the Bible says he was in a house and he didn't want anyone to know he is in that house. Sometimes his son is also like that. My loving children, my beloved, my beloved ones. She, they, she came running. Said, son of David. The disciples said, send her away, Lord. Send her away. She's troubling us. No one knew the agony of that mother. No one knew the, the brokenness of that mother. No one knew how much she longed for her child to live a blessed life. Are you weeping here for your children? Are you weeping here for your child and your children? Blessed mother, blessed father, this is the moment of miracle for your child. This is the moment of miracle. Believe the prophet and you shall live in Jesus' name. Streams of Miracle Life is Pastor Dill's latest book. Every module in this book is anointed with the power of God and his truth. There are also testimonies and praise reports that confirm God's living word. As you read this book, believe in the Lord Jesus and you shall have life and life in abundance. My beloved ones, he loves you. Your home will live. Your child will live. They said, send her away, send her away. Jesus kept so quiet, waiting to see if she also will miss that moment or will just get her miracle. I'm not going to miss this opportunity at all. He is here. He is right within my reach. He is the one who will give life to my daughter, to my son. He is the one who will give life to my home. I'm not going to miss. No matter what people say, no matter what the objections are, no matter what the hindrances are, no matter what the delays are, it is Jesus and none gives me life and my child life and my children life and my home life. She didn't, she was not going to miss that moment. That thief said, Jesus, it is now eternity in heaven or eternity in hell. It depends on you, Jesus. Remember me. Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. His eternity in heaven was decided then and there. Don't miss your moment and say, oh, let it be another day. I will think about this. I will talk about this. No, my darling child. Now is the time of salvation. Second Corinthians 6th chapter, verse number 2. This mother was not going to go back. He is my life for my child. He is the life for my home. He is the life for my family. I will take it now itself. She never went back, got her miracle for her daughter, for her child or whatever. Jesus is here today. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Another woman, 12 years, 12 years, 12 years. She was dying, blood flowing out of her body. All the doctors had given up. <clears throat> she said, if I touch his garment, I will be made whole. If I touch his garment, I will be made whole. She came running. She was a weak woman, dying woman, cursed woman. She didn't want to miss the moment of miracle. Jesus was coming that side. Jesus was coming that side. She was weak. 
If she had only considered herself as weak, cursed, sinful, whatever, she would never have made it. But she said, if I touch him, everything is all right in my life. If I touch him, every sickness will go, every sin will go, every death will go. I'm not going to miss this moment. The doctors would have said, you can't make it. Your family would have said, you're of no use. My loving child, Jesus is here today. He loves you. He loves you. Don't miss the moment of Jesus in your life now. Don't miss the moment of the Holy Spirit in your life right here this morning. All these six instances of, of that day are today for you and me. She touched his garment. Twelve years of disease vanished instantly. The blood flow stopped. Your fear will stop today. Your sorrow will stop today. Your death will stop today. Your disease will stop today. Your every work of the defeated devil of sin in your life will stop today. My dear child, today is your day of miracle. She went home healed. She just caught that moment. She just made use of that moment. She seized that moment. She maximized that opportunity in the commercial language, my loving children. She made optimum use of the facilities that were available in the engineering language, my loving child. But in his language, this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I have told you, I have spoken to you in the commercial language and in the engineering language. You may know much more than that. And the third language, which is above all, is the Bible language. Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day. Lift your hands to him. Your miracle is right here. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Your sicknesses will go. Oh, your diseases will go. And in completion, one other man, a leper, he was ostracized by the society, chased away by the family, driven out from the church, left to die, a leper. He came, he got hold of Jesus. He didn't want to miss that moment. It was a very crucial critical moment in all these six instances it was very crucial it was very critical it is it was very decisive moment in life it's no point it's not worth sitting and looking back and pondering why it happened and how did it happen why did i not stop it no my child you and i have no control over the defeated devil unless jesus gives it to us Oh, Jesus is above all. He is the great one. Only in his name, every demon will bow down and leave. Every sickness will depart. Every sin will lose its authority. Every curse will bow down and leave. Every death is abolished. Only in that one person, Jesus Christ. He is risen from the dead. This leper came. They said, don't come into the society. It is punishable by law, but he didn't want to miss that moment. He, there can be many obstacles, many hindrances, many objections. My darling children, don't miss the moment of your miracle. He is right here. He came and said, if it's your will, you can make me whole. Lord, just don't let me stay here long. I have only a few seconds. If they catch me, they will punish me unto death. I'm a leper. That's why he put his hand straight on him. No one can touch you when I am holding you. Go, it's my will, be thou clean. Immediately the leprosy left him. He was made whole. That mother, she went, Jesus said, go, your daughter is healed. You didn't want to miss this moment. Objections were there, obstacles were there. Many times, I, you could have turned back, but you kept on, kept on. This is my man for miracle. This is my person for miracle. This is my church for miracle. This is my Lord for miracle. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. I will not miss this. Go thy way, your daughter liveth now. What a savior. What a savior. 
It is my will, be thou whole. Every one of them, six, Bartimaeus, my loving child, that four people with that paralyzed man, the thief, my dear beloved, the mother, and the lady with 12 years, and the leper, all six of them didn't have much time to choose. It was very critical moments in life. Your critical moments become miracle moments in Christ Jesus. Every one of them received their miracle of life and went. My loving child, your moment of misery is changed into your moments of miracles now. It's all with Jesus. Jesus loves you. And my books are there. Jesus Christ heals even now. Jesus Christ heals even now. My book, my latest book on rapture. My beloved people, everyone washed by the blood of Jesus. Everyone who loves Jesus is going to be taken up in midair very soon. We are going to be raptured as we live on this earth in these coming long years. We are going to go into our Father's mansions. He's going to come in midair to take us, rapture us. My latest book on rapture, don't miss that. And my powerful book, Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. Because Jesus Lives, You Will Live Also. And then streams of miracle life, streams of miracle life. Get these books, my magazines. Every three months, we put out magazines, signs, wonders, and miracles. Every three months, we send them internationally. And it's full of credible, documented evidences of God's instant miracle healing works. Testimonies, praise reports in our magazines. You can send your request. We'll get it across to you. Signs, wonders, and miracles magazines. All our miracles, it's increasing. John 14, 12 greater works greater works now until rapture it's increasing it's increasing we will send you our magazines signs wonders and miracles send us your prayer requests send us your requests we will pray with tears and you will receive your miracle we love you and more than us jesus loves you jesus loves you and you can watch us on various television channels as well jesus loves you see you again and Jesus loves you.